The cucumber family provides a number of vegetables that we all love to eat here in Louisiana. There's a peculiarity about this family of vegetables that I need to make you aware of, and that has to do with how they bloom. Now, most plants produce perfect flowers, and that is the male and female parts are contained in the same flower. But the members of the cucumber family separate the sexes so that there are male flowers and female flowers. I'll have to show you that here on this squash plant. Now, this is a male flower. You can see it's connected to the plant by a thin stem. The female flower, which you see right here, has an ovary at the base. That's this structure here. This is not a squash, it's not a fruit. This is the ovary of the female flower. It resembles what the fruit will look like if she gets pollinated. So a bee has to carry the pollen from the male flower to the female flower. Once that happens and the eggs are fertilized in the ovary, only then will the ovary develop into a fruit. So don't count these as squashes or cucumbers or watermelons, whatever you're looking at. These are just the ovaries of the female flowers. Now, the bees do a good job of carrying out this pollination for us. Don't be alarmed if some of these fruit fall off without making. Not every female flower is going to make a fruit. But if all goes well, you get lots and lots of cucumbers or squash or cantaloupes or watermelons or any of the other of the cucumber family plants. So remember, two sexes of flowers only the females make the fruit that you eat. The males are there for pollination. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.